To start gluing stuff together, there's a couple of things we're going to need. Of course, we'll need the blocks, but I've got a corner of Legos, and this is really handy for keeping things square. The other thing is I've got a bottle of Aline's Tacky Glue. And what I've done is I've got a piece of foam here with a hole cut out in it, so this thing is always upside down, so you don't have to wait for the glue to come down to the tip. Now, our Stone Support W5 is on the main big plan here. And it's just on the right side. It's this one right here and this one right here. These are going to be glued together in two separate halves. And after those halves dry, then we'll glue the two halves together. The only thing that we won't glue together is this little interior wheel part right here. We're going to glue it separately and paint it as wood. And the other will be painted as stone. Then once the, paint, once the paint dry, we'll take and insert it in and we'll have the finished piece. So the easiest way to do it, if you notice I've got all of my... Uh, all of my rubble block pieces right here already sorted on the cardboard and I can just move the cardboard where I need it. Now what I'm going to do is simply lay the pieces on the plan here. Uh, so I'm just going to grab blocks and see there's a one and a half that goes here and a one and a half that goes right here and then it looks like we've got a two inch and we've got a square that's not labeled. Those are usually always one inch squares. Uh, if it's not labeled, it's going to be a one inch square. And so we'll throw a two inch over here, a one inch over here and we've got a one inch here and here and then we have a two inch across the top. Now you'll notice we got an empty hole here. The best way to keep the hole a proper size is to take a uh, half inch square, put it face down so you know you're not supposed to glue that. And then across the top we've got the two, uh, two angle braces. Now once you've got this assembled on the plan, just take and rest your hand all over it and then slide the plan out from under it. We'll get that plan out of the way. Then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and use this little L that we have of Legos and go ahead and position this uh, so we know that everything kind of lines up here. Now I'm going to demonstrate the tedious part of gluing this together so you can see the process that I do to, to glue it fairly quickly. I've got my bottle of glue upside down and I've got the cap. And usually what I do is when I want to take the cap off, I just reach up and put it between my teeth and then yank the lamp the lid off like that and I got this thing stuck in my teeth while I'm applying the glue. And then if you're coordinated you can stick it back in your teeth there and put the lid back on and be sure the lid's back on tight. I usually tap it on the table to make sure the lid's back on so it's back on the glue container because if you don't put the lid back on tight you throw it in here and the lid falls off and then you got a pile of glue underneath of there. Now I tend to apply glue to the top and the right side of it and I usually start from the bottom left and work my way across. I start at the bottom rows and work my way up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this up here and then I'm going to take my glue. I'm going to start with the first block and I am going to put a bead of glue right across the top and a bead of glue on the edge right here. And I'm just going to set that right there. And I'm going to take the next one and I'm going to put a bead of glue across the top. And I'm not going to put any on the side because I don't have any blocks going on the side. Okay, there's my first row right there. The next one I go across the top. And then it goes right here. And the next one goes across the top. Now, you're probably going to be... Uh, getting a little bit of glue on your tabletop. This is a light table which is glass so I don't have too much trouble. However, you may want to tape down a trash bag or wax paper or something like that to keep glue from sticking your blocks down to the table if you've got a regular wooden table or if you've got a kitchen table that you don't want to mess up. Let's continue this. Now, be careful when I glue this piece. Remember this little square is not supposed to be glued. So if I put glue all the way across the top of this one, I'm going to end up gluing that one in place. So I don't want to do that. So kind of eyeball where that glue is going to have to stop. In fact, probably a better way to do it is just to uh, apply glue on the end here. There we go. And then stick this one on top and then apply glue to the bottoms of these. So a little glue on the bottom of this one, a little glue on the bottom of this one. Okay, and then, okay, those go on each side, and now there's glue on the bottom of the blocks, and I will just center that over it like that. Now this one on the top, I don't want to put glue in the middle, so I'm just going to put a little glue on this side, I'm going to put a little glue on that side, and center it there, and then we'll finish it off with the top. So you can kind of see the process that I use for uh, 
glue this stuff together. And I'm not going to show you every single piece that's got to be glued together. So you can take your uh, little corner of Legos and make sure everything lines up. And be sure that it lines up side to side. And if you want it to be more exact side to side, because you notice there's a quarter inch gap and then a half inch gap and then, you know, something else, you can also take one of these little quarter inch blocks and stuff it into the side here. And then you can find yourself another square and stuff it in right here. And then push this all together against the side where it all lines up straight. Okay, and now once you've got the glue applied here and everything is set, I take this and I kind of scoot it up out of the way where I'm not going to touch it, remove the brace, and I'll start working on my second piece while this piece up here is drying. Now here's the uh, other side of the stone arch. Now you notice I've got a little window in here. We're not gluing that in. I just set that in there to keep the hole the right size. So I've got those pieces laid out. I'm just going to set my hand over it, slide the plan out, and then we'll start gluing this one together. Now I want to mention one more thing that I do whenever I assemble pieces. Sometimes when you get your pieces laid there, you want to take a look at them to see that there's not any, you know, duplicates that are really obvious. Uh, and uh, like for these little square bricks, you see we got four little square bricks. I try to be sure that I don't have a scraped side facing up. In other words, one side is completely smooth where you scraped it. I try not to have that facing up. Also, these pair of tweezers, man, these are handy. When you got to handle little blocks and stuff, you know, you can grab stuff and pull it out and, and it's just really handy. Like I noticed that this is a square and this is a square and those are the same square block. Well, if I don't want the same square block, maybe I'll just switch it out with this one. Another one, if you probably don't notice, but this one inch block and this one inch block are two identical blocks. And if you don't want two identical blocks that are like really close together form in a pattern, then you can kind of throw that one back there. Now I've went ahead and glued together the back half of the stone support. And you notice I just grabbed a spare window of some kind of stuff in there to hold the place of that one inch. And those were there to kind of make sure it got even. So don't worry about that. Well, I'm going to go ahead and scoot this out of the way so it can dry. And what we're going to do is glue these two windows onto a piece of mat board and then cut it out. Okay. Put a little glue on the back of it here. I'll put a little glue on the back of this window. And then what I uh, do is uh, uh, a lot of times just take and... Uh, Use my finger to kind of squeeze this glue around. Put that one on there. Then I'll just use my finger to push this glue around so it doesn't squeeze out everywhere. And stick it over here on this side. And be sure that it's kind of lined up nice and straight. Squeeze it down together. Now in the center we're going to have a little knob. This is the little round knob from the uh, uh, wooden beam mold. So we're going to uh, Put some glue on the back of that one, and it might take a little more glue on that. And then we're just going to drop that right in the center. So in this case, I've gone ahead and worked on other pieces, and I'm coming back and I need to assemble this stone arch. Now this little insert is going to go inside of here, but we still have it glued onto this thick cardstock. And we're not going to glue this in because we need to paint this wood, and we need to paint this stone. So what I'm going to do is trim the outside edge off. There's a couple ways you can do this. I like to use a cutting mat or a cutting board. That way I don't end up ruining my tabletop, and it also keeps the blade sharp. So just go alongside of the block. And you're going to have to escort a few times and remove that excess paper off of the side. If, I don't really think a pair of scissors will do it. I think you're going to have to cut it off all the way around. Now we'll finish this piece by uh, gluing these two halves together and then gluing this little small piece onto the front like there to completely assemble it.